We are back on Worldwide Wrestling, and we remind you that World War III is Sunday, the 23rd of November, 8 o'clock Eastern Time, from the Palace of Auburn Hills in Metropolitan Detroit. Make sure you join us for that big event, but I'll tell you, Brain, like you said at the top of the program, we have never been a part of so much emotion, so much talk about one match as we have Hollywood Hulk Hogan against Sting coming up in December. You're right about that. You know, I've been involved in some big matches. Kaminsky Park, I mean, Madison Square Garden, you name it. Auburn Hills, Pontiac, all over the world. Not, not more talk have I ever heard in my life than you're hearing right now. Sting this, sting that, sting but that. Nice. Scott Hall, six members of the Outsiders, members of the Wolfpack, and of course the New World Order. Well, if you see two, there's a chance you can see three or four. Scott Hall and the youngster Mike Rapata in this one-on-one -on -one matchup here on Worldwide Wrestling. Wherever you are, it's great to have you with us. We've got some uh, exciting wrestling action still to come. And as we head towards the end of the year, believe it or not, the last two months of the year here, we are heading towards truly the end of the biggest year that the sport's ever seen. And I would say the most confusing year our sport's ever seen with the NWO getting by with what they get by with and Hogan and everything that's going on here and the record numbers we're doing in attendance and our television ratings I mean it's been the most exciting year I've ever had in this sport yeah me too bring here we go Scott Hall six on the outside already intimidation factor here look at the eyes of Scott Hall Mike Rapata a young man very talented but he's got look at he, he basically is surrounded here no well, back into that corner then The Palace of Auburn Hills will be the home of World War III. It is Sunday, the 23rd of November. Three rings, 60 men. At the end of this three rings, 60 men over the top rope battle royal, one man will be left standing. That man will go on to Super Brawl in February 1998 to face the World Heavyweight Champion. You can see the spectacular World War III by calling your local cable operator, Direct TV with Direct Ticket, the Dish Network, or Turner Premier for you satellite dish owners. It's World War III, Sunday, November 23rd. Oh! The Scott Hall name. Nail, I mean. Wow, did he hit him. Rapata in a lot of trouble here. And that's, uh, that's to say the least. He was in a lot of trouble when these two guys walked out of the locker room area, Frank. Well, you see, at the beginning of the match, you know Scott Hall is more experienced than Rapata. Sure, Rapata's a rookie. Right, now he'd have gone in there and tried to do the best he could against Scott Hall. Maybe even get close to him, maybe get noticed by somebody. But with six on the apron out there, now he doesn't want to get hurt. Now his game plan changed. Now he realizes there's two people out there. See, like right here what's happening. Oh, so that changes this young man's opinion and his strategy just with one man that shows you how that can throw you off. And that's intimidation and that's NWO. The NWO that certainly uh, has to regroup, I would think, mentally. Think about what's gone down here. The one thing the NWO collectively did not want to happen was for Sting to get in the ring to face Hulk Hogan for the world title. Nothing they can do about it now because it will happen coming up in December at Starcade, at the end of December, right after the Christmas holiday, right, actually during the Christmas New Year holiday, and we'll be talking more about it in the weeks to come, the actual date and time. But Tony, you and I both know we have to take our hat off to Eric Bischoff. I mean, we really do. Why do we have to do that? I mean, we really got to look at Eric Bischoff with pride and respect what the man's done. I mean, the world has wanted this match, and he's been able to keep Hogan away from Sting for over a year now. That's hard to do, but he did that, didn't he? Yes, he did. So you got to give him credit. You want to hide out, you want to go on a witness protection plan or something, call Bishop. He'll be able to hide you. He hid Hogan from Sting for over a year, but the hiding's over now. You, you, uh, you failed the NWO, Mr. Bischoff. You failed the Hollywood man. Oh! 
The outside row. Oh. And now Hogan, it's up to you. Are you going to fail or not? That man didn't. Gary rarely does he. Scott Hall, one of the finest pro wrestlers in our sport. Member of the NWO, six. And Scott Hall together celebrate the win here on WCW Worldwide Wrestling. Some NWO fans with a Dennis Rodman shirt there. Oh, yeah, they love the NWO WCW merchandise. You know, there's a lot of people that like the NWO. Hey, look around. NWO is all. Yeah, but look at them. They got maybe 17 hairs on their head together.